We are at 1% state of charge and it's time to do a charging test on this ABB Terra 360 unit which will support all the power that this Kia needs. Let's find out how fast this thing can charge and for how long it can keep the fast charge. We have a 1% state of charge and dropping. We are ready to do a charging test from 1% or 3 kilometers indicated all the way to 100% to see the charging curve of this Kia EV9 GT line launch edition. The battery temperature is 26 degrees. I have driven on the motorway and used the manual preconditioning to try to get it as close to 30 degrees as possible. I think that's a good temperature. It's a little bit cold, but it'll heat up uh, fast enough. Our battery voltage is just 500 volts or 496, like you can see here. So much for 800 volt architecture. And I found that at 66%, the voltage was just 590 volts. So way less than 800 volts. This will not show uh, kilowatts, but I'll place the camera on the charger so you can see the amperage that the battery will get times the voltage when we are charging and then you will get the kilowatts that we put into the battery. So these two times each other. Let's go. The app. Forty nine kilowatts, seventy five kilowatts. We're looking at uh, five hundred and twenty two volts so far with the amp uh, delivered at two hundred and twenty, two hundred and twenty six, hundred and thirty kilowatts, hundred and fifty eight kilowatts. Pretty slow ramp, but uh, that's fine as long as uh, the speeds are good. Five hundred and forty volts right now and two hundred and eighty amps which results in 161 kilowatts. Let's hope it will uh, increase a little bit as we get more uh, a higher voltage on the battery. The battery temperature is 26 degrees, which is um, pretty good. It's a little bit cold, but uh, I've run battery preconditioning all day and uh, just to get it uh, up to the highest temperature uh, possible. Now stating seven uh, percent, hundred and sixty-nine kilowatts. Okay, we are climbing up to hundred and eighty kilowatts now. That's awesome. It's awesome to see a curve that goes up, two hundred kilowatts now. It's awesome to see a curve that goes up. Uh, I'm used to the Tesla curve that starts high and then falls lower and lower. Um, but this one is uh, quite the opposite so far. 191 kilowatts at 10%. Still 197 kilowatts, which is uh, close to the 210, which is uh, the peak according to Kia. But they also refer to 240 in uh, their marketing material. So I'm actually not sure. We are at 571 volts now. This charger can deliver 900 volts, so we are. It's a good charger to test this uh, car on. The battery temperature is now 30 degrees, and the amperage is uh, stable, I think, at 340 amps. But the voltage is increasing, so we might get more kilowatts. We are now at 200 kilowatts. You might have seen a little buffer when uh, we started charging. Actually, there is around around 4-5% buffer on this car. Uh, I didn't run it all the way out today because I only had this car for one day, so it's limited uh, the amount of time I have with this car. 175 kilowatts at 28%. Still good, but uh, we have charged for 10 minutes and it's dropping to 175. The battery temperature is now 36 degrees. We are now back to 180 kilowatts and this is due to the voltage increasing. We are now at 597 volts, so almost 600 volts. These battery packs will of course get a higher voltage once uh, the state of charge is higher and then we will get uh, a higher uh, amount of uh, kilowatts uh, really. Um, higher power into the battery, uh, naturally, even though um, the charger is supplying uh, 
just 293 amps. So we have charged uh, for 18 minutes and we are already at 51%. Pretty nice. We see an amperage limit of around 200 amps, uh, which results in our kilowatts being just 130, uh, 4 kilowatts right now at 73%. But this is still very good for such a high state of charge. So we will see what uh, BMS or a battery management system does from here. The battery voltage is at 622 volts right now, which is uh, much higher than uh, before, but still not close to 800 volts. We are at 80% and it took 30 minutes from 1% to 80% and this is a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's, uh, that's awesome. And we have added 84 kilowatt hours. That's absolutely fantastic. Just a 90% check-in, actually 91%. And we are steadily at 39 kilowatts. 99% state of charge, and uh, quitting. 100% and the charging test is finished. One hour and four minutes. And that includes all the calibration of the pack at the end. So, now comes the final numbers and what you are interested in and that's usually the 10 to 60 times for road tripping maybe 10 to 80 maybe 1 to 80 i'll have everything and the entire curve thank you so much for watching now comes the data Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this and videos that are not like this, you can subscribe to this channel. I see a lot of people that uh, watch my videos that uh, don't subscribe. So please leave uh, any feedback in the comments and I'll try to improve.